Hi, and welcome to section one, NetCat introduction. In this video, we are going to see an introduction and installation of NetCat in the Windows and Linux based operating systems. NetCat was originally released in 1995. NetCat is a networking program designed to write and read data across a network using TCP, that means Transmission Control Protocol, and UDP, User Datagram Protocol Connections. NetCat is like a simply a network's version of the program CAT, present in the Linux-based operating systems. CAT reads and writes information to files, and NetCat reads and writes information across network connections. NetCat is in the top 10 powerful tools in cybersecurity. NetCat is able to port scanning, tunneling, proxying, port forwarding, transferring files, grabbing banners, port listening, port redirection, and backdoor. An important piece of information about grabbing banners is that it is a method used by attackers and security teams to obtain information about network computer systems and services running on open ports. A banner is a text displayed by a host by providing inform details such as the type and version of software running on the system or server. Banner capture is one of the essential steps in both offensive and defensive penetration test environments. Banner options can be active banner, and passive banner. Active banner is a method by hackers and packers to a remote server and analyze the response data. A passive banner is a method that allows hackers and security analysts to get the same information while avoiding disclosing the original connection. NetCat has been rewritten into a number, a number of versions and implementations and was being ported to a number of operating systems. Today, we already have NetCat installed in Linux-based operating systems, and we can download it for Microsoft Windows, and it's available on macOS 2, or you can download it through Homebrew. Here, we can use a browser to download a NetCat tool suite for a Microsoft Windows environment. We are going to access Google, and take a search about NetCat. So we can use NetCat Windows Download. And seeing the result list, we can see the second option, NetCat, available for the domain nmap.org. Um, nmap is an important and popular network tool using a lot for penetration tests and cybersecurity environment. And this version here for NetCat uh, is a version that was written for the NMAP project. That means that uh, a regular version of NCAT was got for this project in the NMAP and was written uh, for a new version. And it's available for download here. Uh, interesting information is that here we have a link for the original version of NetCat. It's a GNU version. It's the same version present in the Linux in base environment. Uh, we can see the, re the latest release in 26 years ago uh, and is available to uh, email uh, a messenger by Robit. It was the, the, the first release of NetCat in the version 1.0. Uh, you can see that the original version was a simply Unix utility. Uh, we can see the major features available for NetCat at that version. And, and a very short list of potential use that you can use uh, NetCat for. So in the download page, here we can uh, use the, this link here for download NMAP and NetCat. It's very important to install this, this suite here, this option, because we, we're going to use uh, the integration with NetCat and NMAP. So this is a, is a good uh, tool to install. After install of the, the tool, we can use a terminal, a Windows terminal, to verify if NetMap and NCAT is installed. So 
the first option we can type nmap we can use the the option dash h that's mean this option we're gonna see in the next video but in this option here we can see we can see the uh the version and the list of options that we can use in this command line tool and we and we use more a pipe more that's mean that you can freeze the page in, in blocks of pages to verify the first information before the, the, the result. So here we can verify that nmap is installed. We can check the version and we can verify that is a uh, original from an nmap project. So for nmap, it's okay. Now we, we're gonna, we, we will check for any cat. We can, we, we, we're gonna do the, the same thing, dash H, pipeline more. And you can verify that any map is installed, the version, and the any map reference project here too. So for the both tools, everything's okay. Now we are using a Linux environment. Uh, in this moment, I use a Kali distribution. So this is the same. We, are, we will verify if the tool Netcat is installed. The difference here this is uh, is, 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 the, is Netcat. But in another, in another version, is a GNU version. So we have uh, another alias for the tool is NC, and we can check the same uh, to verify if Netcat is installed and which version is installed. So we're gonna use the dash H two, and you can verify that there is another version because it's an is a is another version of this tool, but the the, the accents is the same Netcat. And we can verify that uh, is the same is the same uh, list of options means few uh, modifications. Uh, we are gonna see in the next video the difference between them, the netcat for the nmap project and the netcat GNU version installed in Linux. Uh, but the core is the same, so uh, the netcat is okay in the Linux in our Linux environment. In this video. We saw an introduction and background information about Netcat. Next, we saw a list with some possible operations that can be done with Netcat. And finally, now to download and install it with Microsoft Windows. In the next video, we will take a look at the, which options are available in Netcat and how to use them. I hope to see you there.